this is a sneaky problem because we have a chain rule that's going on with the implicit differentiation. So um, this cos is really the only tough part of it. So we're going to take the derivative of cosine. So we're going to get negative 2 sine of xy. And then we're going to multiply that by the derivative of the interior function. We'll just call it xy prime for right now. Um, 3x derivative is 3. Derivative of 5 is going to be 5y prime. Right? And then at this point, what we're going to do is we're just going to take the derivative of the xy. Um, that's going to be negative 2 sine xy. And then there's going to be a product rule going on with this. All right. So the product rule says that the derivative of x is going to be y. And then the derivative of xy is going to be xy prime. And that's going to be equal to 3 plus 5y prime. We're going to distribute now, solve for y prime. So we're going to get negative 2y sine xy times y, or the y is already factored in there, minus 2xy prime sine xy equals 3 plus 5y prime. And then we're going to subtract 5y, add 2y sine xy. So we're going to get negative 2xy prime sine xy minus 5y prime equals 3 plus 2y sine xy. And at this point, the rest of it's algebra. We're going to factor out the y prime, negative 2x sine xy minus 5 equals 3 plus 2y sine xy. And then finally, we can divide everything by that negative 2 sine xy minus 5. So two ways we can write it. I'm just going to factor the negative out. Um, and then we're going to get 3 plus 2y sine xy. And then the denominator 2x sine xy plus 5. All right. Uh, there's other... I guess, forms of that that it could be written in. So hopefully that helps out.